This short video demonstrates a sliding gate. This is my main demo in my Azure IoT lecture. The sliding gate can be operated manually by pressing a button or can be set to be connected via the internet or the cloud. In this short video I'll show you how to set up the gate to be operated from the web. You can also set the gate to be connected to an Azure IoT Hub by entering the Azure IoT Hub connection string. So let's see. Manually opening the gate. Just press the button. Manually closing the gate. Just press the button. As you can see, the red LED is lit up, which means that there is a internet connection error. So now let's set the internet connection. To do that, we need to press and hold the button for 20 seconds. When we leave the button, it will do a factory reset. Blinking LEDs indicate that it can be connected using a Wi Fi capable device. So let's search for a Wi Fi. You see that there is an alone IoT and I'm connecting it uh, to it now the LED stopped blinking which means that I'm connected now let's surf to the device links the IP address that it got from the router. One twenty nine dot one. Zero and one fifty is the five and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we can serve to one ninety two, one sixty eight, zero, one fifty eight. Now let's open the gate. The gate is opened. Let's close the gate. The gate is closed.
last step is to operate the gate using the Azure IoT Hub. To do so, we will go again to the setup page and we will set the Azure IoT Hub connection string. We will go to the Azure portal and we will log in to the portal. And here we will choose the Azure IoT Hub. In the Azure IoT Hub, we will choose the Device Explorer. We will pick the right device and we will copy the connection string. We will enter the connection string to the setup page and we will also copy the device ID. set the device to use the Azure IoT Hub and we will submit the form. Now the device reset and we are ready to send commands to the device. To send command to the device we can use a Xamarin application that I have built. You can find this application in my GitHub repo and we can also use the Azure IoT Hub Explorer. In this demo, I'll show you how you can use the Azure IoT Hub Explorer to send commands to the device. You need to copy the connection string of the Azure IoT Hub, and then you can go to the Message to the Device tab. You need to pick the device, and then you need to type the message that you want to send to the device. In our case, the message is open. Then press the Send button, and the message is sent to the device. Now let's see that the device actually gets a message. So this is again the output log. The device now waits to get messages from the Azure IoT Hub. And here it received the message, an open message. Now the gate is opened from the cloud. In this video, I have presented how you can build and operate a sliding gate model. You can operate it manually by pressing a button. You can also surf to its embedded website and activate the gate. And you can set an Azure IoT Hub to get commands from the cloud. If you want to know more about Azure IoT Hub, you can read my articles. You can also go to the GitHub repo and download the code. And you can print the model by downloading the STL files from Thingiverse.